you can make music and you can do it for free and you can start by making yourself a shaker like this or this or this it's quite quiet that one I'm gonna record a shaker on here. Need to get my shaker. Okay. This is the shaker I've been using for a couple years. It's a uh, delicious quinoa, healthy. I think it's a complete protein. Well, obviously we're going to 3D print it. I mean, you know me. Um, and what I'm going to use is something called Mesh Mixer, which I've touched on before. Um, but it's a little bit quirky because um, it doesn't really expect you to be creating things in Mesh Mixer. It's to mish, mish? It's to <laughs> mix up meshes that you've already created. But you can. So you have to sort of start with importing something. Uh, it doesn't give you very m many options. So... I I don't actually want to start with a sphere, although you, you could easily, and, you know, I'm wanting to, it's a silly idea really, but a rock shaker, you know, because we want to make rock music, oh, okay, pathetic, but um, it doesn't matter what shape, and it's really just showing you that you can, you can kind of make very kind of organic uh, looking things rather than the usual sort of almost industrial stuff that you get with more conventional ways of creating objects. What you could do is this thing called select. What do you mean select? And it's not talking about the object. It's talking about the individual faces that make up the object. Um, so control A is standard select all. Um, and it does. It selects all the, the faces and they change color. You know, to this sort of brownie orange. And you can then do things uh, like editing it and changing it so that... Um, it's sort of approximating to the original shape and by by sort of reducing the quality you can get this sort of lumpy thing that's kind of heading towards the the sort of shape that, that I'm looking for now there are lots of different um, things you can do you can sculpt it so I'm using different brushes here Again, I'm going to reduce the sort of quality of it. And then I'm just trimming off the bottom using plain cut. And then changing the scale a bit. Now, I don't know, is it is it sort of rock or is it more baked potato? But anyway, it's meant to be a rock. <laughs> and, you know, it's just a bit of fun, really. Um, but it will make a perfectly good shaker that you can actually use to make music with. The other thing, again, as you sort of close, you, you save the file, you export it as an STL because that's what your slicer is going to want to use. It then sort of asks you as you close the program, oh, you know, do you want to save your project? And it's like, oh, well, I just saved it, didn't I? Yeah, but you only exported it. Having made stuff, it's like, oh, you might want to save that as, a, as like a mesh mixer project. And you might do if you're doing something that you want to go back to and, and tweak the settings of, but by and large, I'd say, no thanks, that'll be fine. <laughs> 